If we end the month with 500,000 subscribers, I'll get this haircut. I promise. It feels like every day I come on here and I tell you guys, yo, this is the craziest thing I've seen. The next video is something even weirder. For the last few videos, I've been telling you guys to send me video suggestions, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you guys have. And you guys have kept the submissions going. I actually got tagged on Twitter a few minutes ago. Shout out to this person. Hey, talker Daniel Larson charged with threatening to bomb the White House. <laughs> Now, just reading that headline is crazy, but in case you guys don't know, Daniel Larson used to be a TikToker. He's an influencer, he's a rapper, he's a singer, he does it all. He's one of the most talented people alive right now. All you gotta know is that this person is clearly not mentally stable. He's not all there. All it takes is one visit to his TikTok. There's a, there's a military helicopter in Golden, Colorado right now. I am not allowed to say where I'm getting this information from. All I can say is I am in contact with celebrities. I am. <laughs> I don't know if those fucking notification sounds are on purpose, but they get me every single time. I just wanted to play some clips so you kind of got the vibes. I just wanted to introduce you guys to this person. And yes, I am truly sorry for that. This guy's cooked. Okay, he's finished. TikToker, <laughs> sorry, this fucking bitch. <laughs> TikToker Daniel Larson has been charged with several counts of threatening to blow up a courthouse in Colorado. I don't think they're going to put him in jail. They could just quiz him and they'll be like, yeah, he's not stable for jail. Let's just block him away at a fucking insane asylum or something. Or let's get him help. Let's give him the treatment that he needs. Back in December 2023, Larson sparked backlash across TikTok after uploading a video where he pulled the fire alarm at an olive garden and placed all of its employees under citizen's arrest. Yeah, I don't know why, but this kind of gave me Dwight Schrute vibes. I mean, just imagine chilling at Olive Garden. You got your free breadsticks. You're with your amigo. You're with the baddie. And then there's this crazy ass dude who pulls the alarm. And I just can't imagine chilling and seeing Daniel fucking Larson coming out of nowhere, pulling the fire alarm, disturbing the peace. On May 1st of 2024, Daniel Larson was arrested and charged with six counts of use or threatened use of explosive materials and one count of interstate communication of threat. If found guilty, Larson will be facing 65 years in prison or a $250 fine for each charge, a total of $1.5 million. The only way this brother is being bailed out is if there's someone out there for whatever reason wants to free him and has $1.5 million to burn. This seems like it's the end. It's either 65 years in prison person or $250,000 per charge. We will never see him live on TikTok. And I do think it's for the best for him and everyone that was like, he's not in the public. But at the same time, 65 years of jail seems a bit excessive. You have people who are rapists who get like five years and it's like, I don't know, 65 years, he's gonna be fucking dead by the time it's up. It's crazy to me that there's people who are like registered sex offenders or pedophiles and they get two months. They get two years, they get five years, if that. Or you have people who murder their kid, this guy who's clearly mentally unstable and who clearly says and does a lot of dumb shit, gets 65 years. Now, I'm not saying he shouldn't get no jail time because what he did was extremely <laughs> fucking stupid. Really, you're going to lock this guy away? You actually think this guy right here is a danger to society or to the White House? I'm a new fit in this haircut. Don't ask me to do shit, I got my haircut. <laughs> You know what? I have second thoughts about what I said earlier. They should give him 65 years just for this haircut. <laughs> what? Who did this? They said they'll come back. So, my inspiration behind this haircut. I wanted it to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger got struck by lightning, just like Albert Einstein. Well, I do think this guy's low-key a danger to society. <laughs> but 65 years seems a bit like you're overdoing it, you know what I mean? Like, get this guy the help he needs. It's very obvious this guy doesn't live here on planet Earth. He lives like five galaxies away from us. He's doing his own thing. He lives in his own little planet. According to the filing, throughout 2023, Larson willing fool made threats over the phone. <laughs> Jesus. 
that attempts were being made to damage or destroy several buildings with explosives. <laughs> Holy shit. These buildings include a Colorado courthouse, a nonprofit center. Coming after them, homeless people. The White House? Holy shit, this was going to be 9-11 part two. A Colorado state government building, a college campus, and the FBI headquarters. <laughs> the documents also state the Larson threat and FBI agent. Low-key speechless, uh, but at the same time, this seems like the typical Daniel Larson thing. <laughs> this is like the most tamed Daniel Larson moment right here. Not to be Mr. Obvious, but you can't be out here going and calling these places and be like, yo, I'm gonna fucking bomb me. Because they're gonna take it seriously. And then you're wasting police and FBI and government resources to look into you, to check up on you, to investigate you. You know, think from their point of view. Imagine you get a phone call and they're like, this fucking guy known as Daniel Larson is threatening to bomb the FBI headquarters and the White House. And you're like, okay, Mr. President, who the fuck is Daniel Larson? And you search him up and you see that he's been arrested and he's exposed himself and then you go to his TikTok account and then you see this You know what I mean? From their point of view, it's like, no shit, this guy's fucking unhinged. And uh, here's a video of him pulling the fire alarm at Olive Garden. The TikToker hasn't commented on the situation, but uploaded a video on May 1st saying that due to his popularity, real mood i feel you on that and safety concerns he will be going into the mountains <laughs> until further notice yeah this is my escape plan and i always love hearing what people have to say it says no way the police believes a guy that looks like this looking at the picture he seems highly capable <laughs> of doing it okay so this is from him allegedly and the replies bro is in federal jail his final post godspeed daniel bro is in prison we'll see you in 60 years daniel you will be missed kind of crazy that we're never going to hear from him again in 60 years how old am i going to be yeah i'm not going to be alive by then this is the last time i will ever see daniel larson and i know that this video didn't cover all the lore behind him and it's just impossible to to do that in a 10 minute video you just can't this look you feel sad this is like an end of an era moment but with that said what do you guys think let me know like this video share subscribe or i will cry and follow my social medias down below and i'll see you next time peace out okay grace vanderwall is behind all the trolling yeah.